Canapes by Sarah Tyson Heston Rohrer. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Reading by Bologna Times. Canapes by Sarah Tyson Heston Rohrer. These are slices of bread cut into fancy shapes, toasted or quickly fried in hot oil, or they may be spread with butter and browned in a quick oven. One slice only is used for each canapé. The mixture is spread on top, the top garnished, and the canapé used at once. Anchovy Canapés Cover a round or square of toast with anchovies that have been mashed and seasoned with a little tomato catsup. Put a little chopped celery around the edge as a garnish and send at once to the table. Caviar Canapés Season the caviar with onion and a very little lemon juice. Spread over a round or square canapé. Put chopped onion around the edge. Garnish the top with a hard-boiled egg. Place on paper mats and send at once to the table. These are used as first course at lunch or dinner. Swedish Canapés Cut thick slices of whole wheat or graham bread. Trim the crusts and hollow out the centers, being careful not to make a hole all the way through. Pound or mash the hard-boiled yolks of three eggs with a tablespoonful of anchovy paste or two anchovies, two tablespoonfuls of butter, and a dash of lemon juice. Cut a dill pickle lengthwise into slices an eighth of an inch thick, then put these slices into long strips a half inch wide. Cut large pickled beets into strips of the same width. Cut a dozen pimolas into halves. Butter the bread, fill with the paste, put over the strips of dill pickle, leaving one inch between each strip. Cross these with strips of pickled beets, put half of a pimola into each square. Dish on paper mats, serve as an appetizer before soup. Chopped Tongue Canapes Chop cold cooked tongue very fine, Season it with two tablespoonfuls of olive oil and a dusting of pepper. Spread it over the top of a round of toasted bread. Garnish the edge with the small leaves of cress. Put a little grated hard-boiled egg in the center and send at once to the table. Sardine Canapes Remove the skin and pound the sardines to a paste. Put a thick layer of this paste over the top of a round of toasted bread. Cut one gherkin into very thin slices. Arrange them overlapping around the edge. Put a little finely chopped hard-boiled egg in the center, and they are ready to serve. Fish Canapes Pound a quarter of a pound of cooked fish to a paste. Season it with a few drops of onion juice, a saltspoonful of salt, and a dash of black pepper. Stir into it two tablespoonfuls of sauce tartare. Spread this on six or eight rounds of buttered bread browned in the oven. Garnish the tops with grated cucumber and send to the table. Deviled Oyster Canapes Cut slices of bread into squares, toast, and remove the crusts. Remove the hard part from a pint of pickled oysters. Place oysters over bread, close together and in rotation. Dust thickly with red pepper. Put over as a thin covering a highly seasoned sauce mayonnaise and serve. Do not put over a second piece of bread. Pâté de foie gras canapés For twenty-four sandwiches, take one tureen of foie gras. Remove the fat and mash the foie gras to a perfectly smooth paste, adding gradually four tablespoonfuls of soft, not melted, butter. Add a dash of cayenne and a half teaspoonful of salt. 
and about ten drops of onion juice, and press the whole through a sieve. Cut slices of bread into fancy shapes and toast. Crescents are very pretty. Cover each slice thickly with this paste. Garnish with hard-boiled white of egg, cut into diamonds or tiny crescents, and olives cut into rings. Arrange neatly, and they are ready to serve. Hot Canapes A canapé is the half of a sandwich, as it were. Minced meats of various kinds are served on one slice of bread. In many books they are called uncovered sandwiches. The cold canapés are placed always among the appetizers and served before the soup. They are made of such materials as caviar, sardines, anchovies, pickled oysters, pickled lobster, deviled shrimps, or a mixture of one or two of these materials. A hot canapé, however, is served in the place of fish, or as an entree. If they are dressed with either fish or shellfish, they will take the place of that course. When made from chicken, sweetbreads, or game, should be served as an entree following the fish. Fish Canapes Pick apart sufficient cold cooked fish to make a half pint. Rub together two level tablespoonfuls of butter and two of flour. Add a half pint of milk. Stir until boiling. Add a half teaspoonful of salt, a teaspoonful of soy, a dash of red pepper, and a half saltspoonful of black pepper. When this is hot, add the fish and four or five nice sliced mushrooms. Stand over hot water, without stirring, until the fish is thoroughly heated. While this is heating, trim the crusts from six slices of bread. Toast the one side carefully. Have ready in your pastry bag, with a star tube, a pint of light mashed potatoes. Press in a rope-like form, or in small rosettes, around the edge of the bread on the untoasted side. Brush the bread with a little melted butter. Put them in the oven until the potatoes and bread are a golden brown. Dish these on square paper mats on individual plates. Fill the centers with the creamed fish and send at once to the table. Canned salmon may be used in the place of fresh boiled fish. Lobster Canapes One three-pound lobster, the yolks of two eggs, two level tablespoonfuls of butter, two level tablespoonfuls of flour, half pint of milk, one tablespoonful of chopped parsley, one level teaspoonful of salt, one saltspoonful of white pepper, one pint of mashed potatoes, six slices of bread. Toast the bread and arrange the potatoes according to the preceding recipe. Rub the butter and flour together. Add the milk. When boiling, add the seasoning and the lobster. When very hot, stir in carefully the well-beaten yolks of the eggs. Stir this until it is smoking hot, but be careful not to boil, or it will curdle. Fill this on top of the toast that has been garnished with potatoes, dust with chopped parsley, and send to the table. Shrimps may be substituted for lobster. Sweetbread Canapes One pair calves sweetbreads, half can of mushrooms, two level tablespoonfuls of butter, two level tablespoonfuls of flour, half pint of milk, half teaspoonful of salt, one saltspoonful of pepper. Boil the sweetbreads carefully for three quarters of an hour. Throw them into cold water. Pick them apart, rejecting the membrane. Chop the mushrooms very fine. Add them to the sweetbreads. Rub the butter and flour together. Add the milk. When boiling, add the salt, pepper, sweetbreads, and mushrooms. Cover and stand over hot water ten to fifteen minutes. Serve them on slices of bread, garnished with mashed potatoes, pressed through a star tube. Canapes a la Trinidad Half the white meat from one boiled chicken, 
one pair of sweetbreads, six large fresh mushrooms, two level tablespoons of butter, two level tablespoons of flour, half pint of milk, two yolks of hard-boiled eggs, one level teaspoonful of salt, one saltspoonful of pepper. Cut twelve slices of bread, trim the crusts so the slices will be of even size. Cut out the centers from one half the slices, leaving a wall of one inch. Toast the solid slices. Brush the untoasted edge of the bread with a little white of egg. Lay on the rims and put them in the oven to toast on the upper side. Pick the sweetbreads apart after they are carefully cooked, rejecting the membrane. Slice the mushrooms. Cut the chicken into dice. Put the butter into a saucepan. Add the mushrooms. Toss for a minute until the mushrooms are slightly softened. Then add the flour. Mix and add the milk, salt, and pepper. Cover this on the back part of the stove for 10 or 15 minutes until the mushrooms are cooked. Then add the meat. Stand this over hot water 10 or 15 minutes. The toast should now be done and crisp. Arrange each canapé on a square of lace paper on an individual heated dish. Put the mixture in the center. Garnish with the yolk of the eggs pressed through a sieve. Garnish the very top with a little chopped truffle or a little chopped parsley. These are the handsomest of all hot canapés, and while they are usually served following the soup at dinner, they may be used for the main course at a lady's luncheon or at a supper. Game Canapés Cut any pieces of leftover game into dice. Put two tablespoonfuls of butter and two of flour in a saucepan. Add a half pint of stock. When boiling, add a half can of very fine mushrooms, a tablespoonful of chopped ham, a tablespoonful of chopped parsley, a level teaspoonful of salt, and a saltspoonful of pepper. Bring this to a boil. Add the game. Stand over hot water for 15 or 20 minutes until the game has absorbed part of the sauce. Then add two tablespoonfuls of sherry or Madeira and fill into the square canapes made the same as in preceding recipe. Lamb Canapes Two cans or one quart of cooked peas, one blade of mace, two level tablespoons of butter, two level tablespoons of flour, half pint of stock, one teaspoonful of kitchen bouquet, half teaspoonful of salt, one tablespoonful of chopped onion, two tablespoonfuls of claret, one saltspoonful of pepper. Put the butter and onion in a saucepan, shake it over the fire, then add the cold boiled lamb, cut into blocks. You should have one pint. When this is boiling, add all the seasoning and stand the mixture over hot water on the back of the stove while you make the canapes. Press the peas through a sieve. The pulp must be quite dry. Add to it a palatable seasoning of salt and pepper and one or two tablespoonfuls of melted butter. Put these in a pastry bag. Toast the bread on one side. Put the peas around in rope-like form or roses on the untoasted side, making a border sufficiently high to hold the lamb. Stand in the oven until the bread is carefully toasted. Arrange them on lace papers on heated plates. Fill the center with the lamb mixture and send to the table. End of Canapes by Sarah Tyson Heston Rohrer